Scientists have discovered a conductor moving in a magnetic field causes free electrons in the conductor to be deflected at right angles to the magnetic field. If we stop moving the conductor, electrons are no longer deflected. But as the conductor again cuts through lines of magnetic force, electrons in the wire are deflected. These deflections establish a negative and a positive charge at the ends of the conductor. In effect, there are two charged terminals, just as in the wet cell, capable of producing a continuous flow of electric current as long as the conductor is moving. An electric current can be generated quite easily. Simply move a wire conductor through a magnetic field. See what happens? As the wire passes through the field, the meter indicates a small current is being produced. It was Michael Faraday who discovered this first. One of the great experimentalists of all times, he found the relationship between a magnetic field and the electric current it causes. In 1831, Faraday said, a magnetic field produces an electric current and voltage in a conductor when the conductor cuts through magnetic lines of flux. Current and voltage generated in this manner are called induced current and induced voltage. This relationship is called Faraday's law of induction.